Hello everyone and welcome back to The Long Dark with me just Joe. So when we left off last time I had just finished scavenging or looting the barn house in Pleasant Valley. I also checked the car and all the little uh, substructure buildings that were around it. Uh, all I did was make it back to the roadway and start hoofing it down. I'm going to head towards the large homestead house, uh, do a bit more looting and then if I get full I'll probably end up running that stuff uh, running that stuff back to home base which uh, home base is the coastal highway region just because it's uh, the center region in the game right now you can get to either Mystery Lake or Pleasant Valley from there you don't have to travel through a whole other region to get someplace so that's gonna be the home base uh, I don't think I'll be making any trips to Mystery Lake anytime in the next couple of videos here I kinda wanna focus on uh, Pleasant Valley uh, one just because it's a newer area and two because I feel like there was a lot of good loot there in the structures that were there so the weather's coming in on me now I'm getting a bit hungry the cold's not bothering me I've decided to skip pretty much uh, all the little cars and stuff on the way just because when I go back uh, or when I come back to loot this area again, I'll know that I've only hit the two large structures and then I can kind of systematically work my way through the smaller structures because they don't uh, they don't house as much and I doubt I'll be getting as much loot. Like I have a feeling I'm going to be getting a ton of loot right now from this large house. I just hope I don't like it spun around on my way out to it right now. That would be both time consuming and horribly embarrassing. I think I'm sticking pretty much in the roadway. I should come up on a car, I believe, and then the house will be directly in front of it. There's also a silo, but you can't get into the silo or anything. Okay, Pleasant Valley Farmstead. There's the car. There it is. This is what I've been looking for. I'm hoping to find the cargo pants here. That's like one thing I'm missing from my clothing. First time I came and checked this place out, I didn't even know it had this porch. Close that. What have we here? Take that. I also realized I did pick up some more water, and water is pretty much empty pounds. Uh, I'm also going to look through my food to see what I picked up. I'm gonna. I had the granola bar because it had 500 calories, but I'm going to. Uh, eat by weight at this point. Okay, so let's just systematically go through here. Cloth. Not worried about fur firewood. No food. Cabinet. Cabinet. Nothing so far. And we got pork and beans on the counter. I could use this. Is that a can opener? It is a can opener. It's just sitting in the cabinet. That's interesting. No more there. What's this? Orange soda. Pinnacle peach. You see, that's like a pound. So I'll definitely probably be end up eating that instead of the granola bar. I think the granola bar is like 0.2 pounds, and they both give you 500 calories. So, what is that? When I looked up, what is that? Okay, it's a light. Looks like an eye for a second. It kind of freaked me out. Check the refrigerator. Oh, nothing, huh? Lake whitefish, 4.4 pounds raw. Mm. I can catch that. I'm not going to carry four pounds of fish around with me when I can go catch that. It's not too dark in here, but let's get a little more light going on. I don't want to miss anything because it's too dark. Nothing there. What's this? Is this the bathroom? Okay, I'm not going to take the water from the toilet because it's not necessary. We'll take the soda though. Anything in there? No. First aid, here we go. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, because everybody keeps candy bars in their first aid kit. Empty backpack. I like the feel of this house, to be honest with you. 
if it's not, you know, extraordinary, but I do like the feel of it. Another storm lantern. Empty. I think I'll wipe out the first floor first, then work my way up. So that should be another door outside. And let's work our way in here. book all you can really do is burn it so I'm not going to pick that up that? I don't know if I had grabbed one of those yet at least not in this save magnifying glass I think it's a fire starting tool if I remember correctly well I know it could be in real life but I think it, that's exactly what it's for in the game yeah it should be everything in here let's go uh, I'm going to try those radios every time until something comes out of it In the first room here on the right. Hello, QB family. Candy bar. Okay with water. Already encumbered. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I know I'm really hungry anyway, so let's go ahead and. Where's that thing of pinnacle peaches? Sort by weight. Pinnacle peaches. Oh, it's going bad too, so. Still wish you could move do anything while you're eating. Hunger's still pretty bad, so what the heck else is heavy and going bad? Mm-mm. You know, the sad part is I know a person who actually ate dog food. Thought it was refried beans. True story. That'll come in handy. Mariner's pea coat. That's just cloth, and it's heavy, so... That's all it's all that means to me is cloth at this point. Now that I have the wolf coat, same thing for the socks. I have tons of clothing that I can scavenge. I don't even know why I'm actually picking up the cloth, to be honest with you. Basic wool hat. I know I was gonna scavenge everything from this place, but it's just gonna get so heavy. I feel like I might have to leave some stuff and then what I'll do is I'll come back when I'm actually short on supplies. What have we here? The food and stuff I'll take now. The first aid I'll take now. The cloth and like leather. That's the stuff that I'm, I'm rethinking picking up. Okay, so that's... Came up the first two rooms. We got two full more rooms. Big bed. Another Mariner's pea coat. I could use this. Yeah. Is it outlet? Okay. What do we got over here? Work boots. Yeah, they're still not better than what I got now. I was hoping for the cargo pants. I'm really starting to wonder if those are... If I'm going to find a pair of those. Oh, awesome. We got more rounds. Five more rounds. I think I got a total of like 11 or 12 more rounds right now. Okay, so that's searched. Searched. Empty. Is there something under the bed? <gasps> there is something under the bed. Well, would you look at that? They have a hunting rifle under the bed. I have not uh, seen that before. I'm not going to pick it up necessarily. I'll definitely remember that it's there, but I already have two. And it's not exactly like it's a light piece of equipment. It's actually kind of weighty, so... Okay, we got one more room here. Well, I don't remember this, like, room being so trashed. Could be wrong, but... I thought it was a little more put together. I don't remember, like, the TV being busted down on the floor. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Underwhelmed with the loot in here. I'll take a flare. To be honest with you, I was expecting a bit more. I mean, it did fill me up, so it's not like I could take much more anyway. I've got to be close to being encumbered. I'm actually. Wow! 
I'm exactly the point. So I'll just drink some water and then that'll fall, solve that situation. Still don't quite get how that works. You're still carrying it, technically. Okay. Well, if I uh, missed anything important, yell at me in the comment section and I'll be sure to keep it in mind or come back for it if it's really important. I don't think I missed anything that big, though. Okay. Well, it's just going to be me working my way back, uh, working my way back to, uh, actually all the way back to Coastal Highway at this point. Wow, I got a bit of a run ahead of me. Hmm. Well, let's see here. This way. There's the car. Just gotta find the driveway. I should check the car while I'm here. No, I'm gonna have to come back anyway. Well, watch. That'll come again. I'll just check and see if there's cargo pants in there. Beef jerky, that's food and drink. Eh. Close to weight, Max. I'll leave it for now. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I have a long run ahead of me right now. I'm going to go all the way back to uh, Coastal Town site. I'm going to get some gut and I'll make the mittens this uh this video here so all I'm gonna do is just cut out the really really long arduous journey of me uh, running all the way back to Coastal Highway so I'll go ahead and cut it here and I'll get back to you in just a second okay so I decided to hit the abandoned lookout uh, on the way back down, I uh, was getting actually pretty hungry, so I ate a bit of food that I had on me. I, I'm still really close to uh, maximum weight, but I figure I'm really I'm already at the coastal highway. Um, I'll probably cut out the walk from here back to the town site, uh, just because it's still a bit of a walk. But I figured I'd pop in here and hit this place on the way back. Another lucky what bullet. We here? It's also getting pretty late in the day. It's uh, almost, I think, almost six in the game. Let me see. Yeah, it's five thirty. So I'm getting a. Uh, that's the first hunting knife that I have found. So that's good. I have been using a hatchet to cut meat for right now, and I believe the hunting knife is faster, which is always handy. Okay, so there wasn't too much in here, so it wasn't too bad. I shouldn't be too far over. 68 out of 66. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, my fatigue is getting pretty high. It was a long day. Started uh, about 7 o'clock. So this guy's been out running uh, running around for almost 12 hours. It will be 12 hours probably or so by the time we get to the end of this uh, end of this run. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably, like I said, I'll just go ahead and cut this uh, little run back down to the coastal town site out here so I'll see you in just a second and here we are home sweet home made it back down to the uh, coastal town site I was really hoping to uh, be able to craft those uh, mittens this video. Uh, um, oh lord, that scared me. I am already uh, heavily loaded. I think I need to real quickly unload some stuff and I might I don't know. I might have a bad idea. Okay, let's see. Food and drink. Let's just unload everything I got in here. Wow, it still left me heavy. Okay. That's a bit... Well, let me uh, also empty first aid. What the heck? 
First aid it is this drawer. Yes, antibiotics, bandage, transfer two. Keep one on me. Painkillers, transfer. I think you have to have two for painkillers to work. I had one painkiller on me one time, and I don't think I could use it. And I don't need to carry any of those. Okay, so let's. Uh, I could get rid of the clothes too, since I'm right here. Okay, anything I'm not wearing. I just gotta get light, because my plan is I might do a little night hunt here real quick and go uh, catch myself an elk so I can make those mittens. I think I get two gut from an elk, so. Uh, where am I going? Clothing, clothing, clothing. Basic old scarf. Really? That's all I picked up? Wow, I'm wearing everything else. Okay. How much do I on weight now? 59 or 66. My fatigues. Uh, just starting to affect my uh, my total weight that I can carry right now. Oh, it's not that dark out. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a deer. Let's see if we can do this here. Color changing car. So I'm just trying to bag a deer because I want to get the gut because I want to make the mittens. So, hmm, I have to. I'm having a feeling like I'm. See, it's borderline getting dark. Oh, perfect! If I can bag him on the highway. Oh, yes. What was that like the gun thing went off afterwards? I was uh, thinking as I was coming out right now, I was like, I, I want to ca catch the guy on the highway if I could because if I was to go out on the ice and was like harvesting, uh, it's uh, close enough to dark to where I think it'll probably be dark by the time I'm done. So I was getting a little a little worried about that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, got Let's see, let's see here. Two, two units, okay. So it's 40 minutes with the hatchet, and... Oh, it's 40 minutes with the hunting knife. I thought it was faster with the hunting knife. But yeah, I mean, that'll put us almost at 8 o'clock. See? And I'm afraid it's going to be dark by then. At least if I'm on the highway, I know I can get back home. Oh, man! I thought I was going to bag another one. Still got a little bit of daylight out here. I know it's going to be dark by 8, so... I could just leave him here. Yeah, he will freeze. He'll probably last longer out here. I might be wrong. He might get scavenged by wolves, but... I have a ton of meat at the house already. Like, the refrigerator's full. The freezer's almost full. Don't even know where I'd put it. Okay, little garage. Let's just get to our garage. So I have the two gut. Just happy that means I'll be able to end this video with a brand new set of mittens. Alright, let's see here. Rabbit pelts. Transfer all. Workbench. There we go five hours to craft. I'm already like really tired. My calories are okay, so you know what? Let's just go for it. I'll just keep an eye on my calories down here if they pop up. Okay. We should have them. Now it's dark. Oops. Come on, light it up. Let's see what we got. Seven point two, three point six, three point oh, one point five. Wow, what a difference from those mittens. Handcrafted clumsy. Hey, I am not clumsy. These things are perfect. What are you talking about? All right. Nice and warmer. Okay, so my fatigue is high. 
My hunger is high. My thirst is high. My cold is obviously not because I just fixed that. So let's see. What do we have in here? Okay, so fishing tackle is simple. I can make fishing tackle. A hook. We just need, yeah, scrap metal for but I actually have a hook. Old man beard wound dressing. D wound dressing. A dressing utilizing old man's beard. Help prevent infection. Oh, so you actually combine this with a regular bandage. It doesn't make a bandage. It makes like a antiseptic bandage. That's cool. We'll have to do that. I've already made the snares. I can make another torch. Made the coat. So we're running out of uh, major stuff to craft here. The big thing is going to be this bearskin uh, bedroll. That is going to take some doing. Um, luckily though... Oops. I just want to check something. So yeah, I have nine. I had 35 rounds. I have 34 rounds now. Uh, that's what I have left. So that should be more than enough to bag enough bears to do the bearskin bedroll. So what I think I'm going to do is it's uh, already 1.30 a.m. in this character. I'm going to run across here and just go inside the house. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call an end to this video. I uh, had uh, a couple of edits in here just to save some time for you guys so you didn't have to watch hours of me uh, traversing, not hours, but you know what I mean, many, 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 many wasted minutes watching me traverse from one uh, one area to the next. So I'm just going to go ahead and say thanks for watching and have a great day.